Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 13th February 2024. My name is T. S. V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Har Dan H. A R D A N Har Dan Hari Bol T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar In this particular vlog in all my previous videos, we have been trying to study, discuss and analyze all the topics of knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular video in this vlog is no exception to that rule. In fact, it is a mere continuation of all that we have been trying to do in all of my previous videos. Kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of all my previous, present and future videos. So let us continue from where we started, stopped in my previous video. That is, we were discussing a particular topic but we stopped in my previous video after a particular stage. Today we shall continue from there. So let us begin. We know by now that when a spirit spark an individual spirit spark gets ejected out of the spirit hole, starts floating aimlessly in this space, ultimately gets attracted to the material world and gravitates towards it to such an extent that one day it gets in touch with this material world. As soon as the spirit spark gets in touch with the material world, it changes its identity. From a mere spirit spark, it becomes a raw, unevolved spirit soul. The material world is visibly irritated 
by the friction caused by such touch by the same spirit spark now turned spirit soul with its own material world to avoid that irritation this material world and will of the same individual raw an evolved spirit soul with four layers of the material world's bodies these four layers of material body are as follows first layer closest to the spirit soul is known as the causal body of intelligence and logic the second body is known as the astral body of mind feelings and emotions the third layer of body is known as the etheric body of five senses namely sight hearing smell taste and touch these three first layers of the material body are subtle in nature and are all made up of the first element of the material world known as ether e t h e r ether from this ether emanates another element called air from air emanates another element called fire from fire emanates the third element called the water and the water is the cause for the creation of the earth as i had mentioned before the first three layers are subtle in nature and are made up of the first element called ether however the fourth body which is also called the gross body is made up of the other four elements known as air fire water and earth it is this gross body which helps in identifying any spirit soul enveloped by those four layers of material body in this society in a lifetime in this material world now we will proceed further as soon as the unevolved spirit soul gets enveloped by these four layers of the material body then the same spirit soul changes its identity once again and becomes what is known as a living and identity now before we jump into any conclusion actually when the three subtle layers envelop the spirit soul it already becomes a living entity 
that becomes its permanent identity in this material world. However, when the same capsule is further enveloped in the fourth layer cross called the gross body, the same living entity becomes either a cell or an amoeba, algae, weed, grass, shrub, plant, tree, insects, amphibians, reptiles, birds, bees, beasts or human beings depending upon the particular birth in which the same living entity takes birth in a particular lifetime in this material world. It is this gross body or the fourth layer which identifies that particular living entity as an algae, a cell, a amoeba, weed, shrub, plants, bees, trees, amphibians, reptiles, birds, beasts, and finally as a human being. Only when a particular living entity, which is a soul enveloped by three subtle bodies, dons a fourth layer of a gross body as a human being, thus a process called destiny or karma begins for that particular living entity. Destiny or karma is a record of the actions and reactions of every human living entity, whether male or female, in a lifetime in this material world. Of the actions or reactions of that particular human living entity, majority are completely worked out in that particular lifetime itself. However, according to various factors, a residue of the actions and reactions of that particular human living entity may remain unworked at the moment when that human living entity ends his or her life in that particular lifetime. However, not everything is lost. When this particular human living entity or any other living entity drops his or her gross body permanently into this material world. This process is known as death of that particular human or other living entity. In other words, this body or a living entity has returned the same gross body 
that it had initially donned which and was loaned to him by the same material world to complete its actions and reactions and life in a particular lifetime as soon as the lifetime is over this body's responsibility is to return the same gross body to the material world yet before we complete come to a conclusion we must be reminded of the fact that the individual spirit soul which is now a capsule of three subtle bodies that is causal body of intelligence astral body of mind and etheric body of senses are still alive in this material world that is with death only that particular gross body is dropped permanently on the terra firma in the material world what remains for that living entity are soul the three layers of subtle body ego memories and other subtle factors which guide the same living entity to take another birth in another lifetime in this particular material world how does this happen we shall discuss in this video but before continuing with that particular discussion let me remind you that this gross body is equipped with a mass of tissue called brain which is gross in nature and which is safely embedded in the cranium of the same gross body of that living entity similarly there are five sense organs in the same gross body which react to the vibrations of the five senses of the etheric body of senses in other words for the first sense sight there is a pair of eyes for that gross body for the second sense hearing there are a pair of ears of sense organs in the gross body for the third sense called smell there are two nostrils which are sense organs answering to that sense the fourth sense is known as taste and for this there is a gross sense organ known as tongue and for the fifth sense called touch there are the skin and the genitals of the gross body of 
that particular living entity. Anyway, let us proceed with our other discussion. We know by now that when a particular living entity ends his, its or her life in a particular lifetime, it adjusts this process by dropping permanently this gross body into the terra firma as a return of the same gross body loaned to this particular living entity by the material world at the beginning of the birth of that living entity. However, despite this, the individual spirit soul enveloped by three subtle bodies still remains alive along with the ego, memories and other such subtle factors. As I had mentioned, in the case of a human living entity, destiny or karma begins. However, in the case of other living entities, there is only what is known as memories of its own actions and reactions in that particular lifetime in this material world. Karma and destiny do not apply to any living entity which is not human, whether male or female. Anyway, let us continue this discussion only with the human birth in mind. There are 400 or at least 400,000 species of human beings alone in this material world. Of these 400,000, one particular living entity takes birth in at least 50,000 types of human birth in his or her complete journey of endless birth and death in this material world. Now, as mentioned before, karma begins for that living entity immediately after he or she takes a first human birth. When this person is born and as a human being for the first time, his or her actions and reactions in a particular lifetime become part of destiny. 75% or so of the actions and reactions in one particular lifetime get worked out in that particular lifetime itself. However, a residue of 20 to 25 percent of the actions and reactions still remain unworked 
when that particular living entity ends that particular lifetime by dropping his or her gross body permanently into this terra firma. The memories of these unworked 25% are stored in the psyche of the same living entity and are known as Sanchit Karma, that is a storage of unworked karma. I would hasten to add here that in the case of other living entities, only memories of their action and reactions remain faintly in the psyche of their own respective living entity or a capsule of individual spirit soul and three layers of gross body. This happens to every individual spirit soul turned living entity whether or not he, it or she is born in a human form or otherwise. Karma begins only when he or she takes a birth in a human form. The unworked karma of one particular lifetime gets stored in what is known as Sanchit Karma in the case of that human living entity, whether male or female. This process begins with the first birth. This goes on and on and on in the case of that living entity who keeps taking birth in human forms as a male or a female in future life times. Depending upon the unworked karma of this particular living entity, this living entity plants its next birth into this material world to work out that unworked karma. However, it is certainly not necessary that the complete residue stored in the Sanchit Karma of that particular living entity is worked out in the next birth. It depends on the size of that 20 or 25 percent unworked karma of that living entity. As I mentioned before, this storage of unworked karma called Sanchez karma keeps ballooning after every lifetime as a human being for that particular living entity in this terra firma. Suppose this human living entity has been 
in this stella forma for the past 10 births in a human form then the unworked sanchit karma of that particular living entity will be bigger than of anyone who has taken lesser births as human beings in the same terra forma we shall continue this discussion in my next video kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this very important subject please give me your own expert views thoughts ideas and opinions so that i may blend everything together for the sake of this society before concluding let me remind you that i am also a published author with amazon kindle and the paperback i write on spiritualism fiction and assorted subjects spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject till we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv raghavan